So today we have a very rugged and inexpensive external SSD build. Just wanna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. So what I wanna do in this video is I've talked about this before, but I get sent a lot of different products by just people sending them to me, all right, for my channel. And a lot of big YouTubers just throw those away. They don't do any, you know, any videos on them. It's a waste of their time, right? For me, I actually enjoy this. I have fun building different external SSD drives. And they sent me this one from ADATA. This is called the ADATA ED600 right here. And this is kind of a durable, kind of really rugged enclosure for 2.5 inch SSDs, all right? So nothing mind blowing. I mean, anyone can do this. It's the simplicity of building this will take less than 10 seconds, I think, once you get both of them combined. But that's not what this is all about. I just wanna showcase this product and then showcase the drive over here and how cheap this is. You can build this entire setup 500 gigabytes with easily changing out drives and stuff for about 35 bucks, so super cheap, all right? The speed's not gonna be that fast. In fact, it's gonna be fairly slow. It's gonna be, you know, obviously way faster than a spinning drive, but it's gonna be just for basic storage, not editing off it or anything like that. But for the cost of it, I think it's only a little bit more for a terabyte as well. But I just wanna show you, you know, how rugged this thing is for the cost. So let me show you some close-ups and then I'll do a speed test. Let's get into it. All right, just really quickly again, this is the ADATA ED600 durable SSD enclosure for two and a half inch drives. It takes SSDs or even spinning drives. So there it is there. The reason I like this thing so much is it's, you know, number one is the cost. It's $13.99, $13.99. So it's less than $14. This thing is made, it's made out of all plastic, but a very thick plastic. And I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking about this. It's got a hinge on it that you click open and then you can open this up, right? Once you open this up, inside of this is basically a silicon, a silicon rim on it and it's all made out of rubber, right? So when you shut this, it becomes watertight. That's number one. The seal on the front where you actually plug in the cable also has a watertight seal on it as well. So it becomes dust and waterproof. In fact, it says, it says right here, IP, 54 water and dust resistant. So not fully, but it's still pretty good. It's a shock resistant or supposedly if you drop it from a few feet, I, I do believe it would definitely, you know, obviously if you did drop it, it's fine. If you got rain in this stuff or if you're walking in the rain, it would also be fine. The reason I like this thing so much though is because it's of the cost obviously, also because you can easily swap in and swap out these drives, right? So I put in, and I'll get into a second, the drive I put in, but I put in this drive, this is gonna be by team group, it's called the AX2. And I put this in here, 500 gigabytes, but I can literally slide this in, slide it out within a matter of seconds. And, and, it, and so if I have a lot of different drives, I wanna test things, I buy a lot of these drives, I take one out, I put them in, I put them over there for storage, I put another one in. This thing takes you know seconds to do because of this hinge on it and everything else. You can just snap it right in place and then there you go, right? So that's really the cool thing about this case is it's a rugged case for 14 bucks and uh, you know for it's two for two and a half inch drives, mind you. So the drive I paired it with though was this AX2 by Team Group. You can see it, I'll show you close-ups of that. And the reason I like the drive so much is the cost again. And I've used these A Data drive or A Data Team Group. I used um, A Data as well. You might want to pair it with an A data, but this is Team Group. So I use these drives a lot. And you look over here, it's 34 bucks for a full terabyte, all right? $34 for a full terabyte, but I wanted to show you the 512. So this is the 512 version that I purchased. It's $21.49 right now. So $21.49, you add 14 bucks for this. We're like under 35, around 35 bucks for both of these for 500 gigabytes of storage. Pretty incredible, right? So as you can see, if you look at my screen, um, they, they also come in a two pack here. You can get two 512s for $39.99. And I'll have links to all this in the description, but $39.99 for two 500 gig drives like this. And then you can basically buy this enclosure, take, take one out, swap it out. You know, that's how I kind of do my backups is I, I back up stuff take it out, put it over there into like a safe or something, bring it back, put a new one in, and I'm ready to go in two seconds. So that's why I love this thing. The only caveat to it is this, the cable is a proprietary, like that kind of weird plug, and I'll show you a close up of that. On the other side also, it's USB-A, and that's like, oh no, if I'm a Mac user, USB-A is not the best. Well, I buy this other thing. This is by Lentian. There's a ton of these things. I'll put a link to this as well. But there's a cable here. I always like to have a couple of these handy. And all you have to do is basically, this is gonna go from usb it's a female on this side, USB-A, and then obviously I'll take the USB-A cable here, plug it into there, and so that when I plug this into the SSD enclosure, now I have a USB-C on this side, and I can plug this right into a MacBook. So it's just kind of an extra cable. This thing over here is only like, I think for two of them, it's $10.99 for two of these cables. So I always like to have this kind of a cable extra so that when I get into a situation where I have a USB-A and I need to plug it into my MacBook, 
I just use this cable right here and it snaps right in and then I'm ready to go. So let me just do a speed test on this and then I'm gonna wrap up the video, but I just wanted to show you how cool this thing is. It also has a couple little foot, like little pads in here um, so that it keeps the drive from rattling around once you install the drive. But like I said, you don't need obviously heat, heat tape or anything like that on a two and a half inch drive. It runs cool. It's not gonna be the fastest, I guarantee you that, but it's gonna be kind of a workhorse and depending on the drive you get. And I've never had any problems with Team Group. I've used a bunch of these things. And the ratings, even if you look online, let me get to the ratings here. Um, I mean, they're talking 8,000 reviews, basically a seven or 4.6 out of five. Tons of people like them. And you're always gonna find one or two people that they fail on and stuff, but that's just any drive, including Samsung. So let's do a speed test and then we're gonna wrap this up. All right, so we got done with the test, and what we got was 322.5 on the writes. We got 347.3 on the reads. So again, not the fastest, but it's gonna be a workhorse, and then you're getting a 500 gig external SSD rugged enclosure for about 35 bucks, and you can get two of these drives for around 39 bucks. You can also get the one terabyte for even not that much more. So it's a good setup if you're just looking for basic storage, plus the enclosure in general allows you to go ahead and waterproof everything, dustproof everything, and change things out in two seconds. So if you think you like this, I would say give it a try. I like to just showcase products I think do a good job for the cost. And for 14 bucks for this enclosure, and for 21 bucks for this drive, you just can't go wrong, all right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, this is not Thunderbolt 4. There's faster stuff out there. Everyone leaves comments like that. I know this is not the best because of obviously you have to use the, I use the intermediate cable as well because it's not USB-C, but you can't complain with the cost or the ease of use or the ease of build. This is one of the best in class for that. And let's not, you know, you can't really argue that. I mean, I'm not gonna argue that because I do a lot of these things and that's just one of the best I've seen for the cost and I'm sticking to it. So anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you on the next one in a couple days. Peace.